What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 for some more update news. Chromatic's uh, Wednesday dev stream just ended and we've got a few confirmations but not a ton of info regarding the next portion of the Seas of Dragonfall update for Dungeon Defenders 2. Uh, first off, it was confirmed for the 18th on PC. So coming up here just in six days on the 18th, PC will be getting the next update. Uh, it is in console certification, but it has not passed certification yet. So we don't know if consoles will be getting the update on the 18th as well. Now on the 18th, part of the new update is the new map that uh, I did that little sneak peek on. Uh, that map is confirmed, definitely coming. And it's also confirmed that that map does not have the new boss. Uh, I know it's been teased uh, quite a bit over the previous months that there would be two new maps and a new boss. We only have one new map confirmed, but it was also mentioned that there will be more info on this in the patch notes regarding the new boss. So we don't know if the new boss is coming uh, on the 18th. Will the new boss be in another update? We will find out with the patch notes on or hopefully before the 18th. Now, in addition to that, there will be a hero rework. We don't know which hero it is, uh, but it was mentioned that it will be a hero that is not used very often or is considered part of like the meta as far as active heroes to play. So, like, right now, the most popular heroes would probably be um, the EV, the Gunwitch, um, the Dryad, of course, is always a fan favorite, uh, the Monk is heavily used, the Barb is heavily used, uh, the Mercenary is pretty heavily used, as with the Countess, uh, the Engineer still gets used, the Hunter still gets used, and the Aquarian, it being the newest hero, still gets used. Uh, as far as heroes that you just don't see very much, you figure you don't see a lot of Apprentice, Squire, um, Abyss Lord. Uh, the Mystic situationally, the Huntress has kind of had a fall from grace. The Lava Mancer doesn't get used for really anything other than buffing. Uh, you still see a little bit of Adept here and there. Uh, the Initiate doesn't get used for anything other than buffing as well. So I think any of those heroes would probably be a pretty safe guess. Uh, let me know what you think it is going to be down in the comments below, but this will be an ability rework. So it'll be a different way for us to play that hero actively. Uh, so that is all we know other than one of the lesser used heroes is getting new abilities. In addition to that, people have been asking uh, with the recent sales on various platforms when a, the Steam sale is going to be. Chromatic, of course, is not allowed to leak sale dates. Uh, however, they said that if you were in a position to buy DLC right now, that you might want to wait a little bit to pick that up. Now, a quick Google search, of course, will tell us that the upcoming Steam Summer Sale which is one of their largest sales of the year, is going to run from June 27th until July 11th. So that's not information that Chromatic is allowed to give directly because of their Steam relationship, but we can expect potentially some DLC sales for Dungeon Defenders 2 on June 27th on Steam as part of that Steam Summer Sale. So as soon as we get more information or when we get those patch notes, I, of course, will be going through all of them right here on the channel. But that is all we got for today. Uh, confirmation for the 18th. Uh, console still unknown. Uh, the new boss will or the new map will not have a new boss or the new map that was shown anyway. And then a hero rework and potential DLC sale. But thanks a ton for watching. Uh, as we get more info, I will post it up. But that will get it for today. So thanks an absolute ton, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.